Alright guys, I know you guys have been wondering why I've been gone for so long. Not really that long, but uh, why I've been gone. And uh, the real reason is, well, I haven't really had anything to upload this week. Uh, I've just been kind of working on this tank. As you can see, I got a new plant up there. I moved this plant over, and then I've got another new plant that's over there. You guys can see it, but yeah, the tanks have just really not been doing much, so I haven't really been uploading. I don't really have anything to upload, but there is an update on this tank, as you guys can see. Uh, it's going good now. I ended up getting a pool pump to work on this thing, and it runs the sump down here. And as you guys can see, this is now at almost 30 power, 30% 30 power, and it's running about 1,600 gallons per hour. Uh, and I switched up their food. Uh, the rest of the fish are still getting the same food. There's, I'm not really going to be showing the fish room today because there's certain tanks that need certain stuff done to them. I actually had to put the Oscar tank into basically a quarantine tank for them. Uh, the new fish that I got are moved out of their tanks because I actually built a rack for them. Uh, but yeah, there will be an update probably in a week or so. Not an update, just a video that comes out. Uh, and then April I'll be having daily uploads when we go to uh, Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, just fishing content. Uh, but yeah. This tank's doing pretty good now. I got all the excess sponge filters out of here. Look at how clean this over here is now. This is still dirty. But I mean, just the whole tank's cleaner now. The fish are healthier. I think the last time you guys seen this tank, it was like about probably halfway empty because I was going to do rescaping. I haven't been able to make it to the river yet, so uh, when I make it to the river, there'll be a big oh, and the next video is probably going to be of this. Uh, this is a sump that I'm building for the 10 gallon, 20 gallon, and 29 gallon racks. Is all going to be ran out of this 27 gallon tote right here. Paid seven dollars for it, and uh, these are obviously the rest of the FX6 trays. And then I've got these little totes that the water is going to run through first. I think there's like eight of them there, or seven, something like that. But they're going to be stacked too high in here, and then the lid's going to be going over top. Uh, but I think that there might be, so I know that in April I'm also getting a 20 gallon tank. Uh, I don't know if they have, I don't know if the people have another tank for me. Um, it's my grandparents. So I don't, I don't know what they'll have. Uh, my mom told me no more tanks, so I've just been having people be on the lookout for them. And I am going to be starting up another channel um, here pretty soon, whenever I get my first kit of uh, making uh, RC model cars. Uh, me and one of my friends are going to be starting up a business where we basically set up a profile on whatever size, site or whatever, and then uh, we'll just be asking people what cars they want and all that stuff and then sell them to them look at that 55 gallon I think I can zoom look at the guppies the guppies have bred in there surprisingly since it's gotten warmer in here uh, but I got two peace lilies That one's already up there, and then here pretty soon I'm going to get a canister filter for this other side, 
it's going to be about another 1,000 gallons per hour. I'm only doing this because, oh, did I catch that? Uh, I'll watch it back in editing. But uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because the other canister is going to have five stages, five stages of media, and it's got a UV in it, so a 9 watt UV. So I'll do a video of setting that up because I'm going to be doing a lot of plumbing videos here really soon. I mean, you guys can already start to see signs. I mean, it's PVC glue here. But yeah, uh, there will be planting videos on the two 10 gallons. Yeah, as you guys can see, that ostrich tank's really drained down. Uh, the two 10 gallons, there's one over here on the left, and then there's one over there. Right there. Uh, right now, I'm just sitting watching this tank, and I figured that I'd upload a video. That way you guys know that I'm not just stopping uploading because I like uploading and I want to start doing it more again, but I just don't really have stuff to show you guys. So that's the update. Uh, yeah. Oh, and these plants that are up in this, yeah, I've got stuff covering the pot, but there's lava rock inside there and then the filter so the pump pumps water through and then it goes down into here, the overflow. And yeah, don't don't pay attention to the ground over there, that's just wiry mess. But yeah, I mean look at the flow on this tank now. Now they're gonna think I'm feeding them, but that's fine. Looks like a river now. Which I'm completely fine with because there's the clam. He's gotten bigger actually. And then Caddy. He should be in here. Yeah, there's his tail. I don't know if you guys can see him or not. I think you guys can see him there. See him moving around so at least. Yep, but there's the catfish. I did see the flathead, or the bullhead that I have. Uh, because this rock structure here in the middle used to be laid over and he was inside of it. But some sad news on this tank. You guys remember the little bluegill? Yeah, he's missing an eye now. I came home and the largemouth had him in his mouth. So at least now I know he can't eat him. So, I mean, uh, Big Green right here is going to be getting his own 75 gallon tank here soon. So that way I can move the rest of him out of here. He's not as big as he looks. I mean, like, he's about the same size as my phone. Oh yeah, look at that. And then here soon, once this tank gets moved over to the fish room, uh, I am going to be having a live stream that's always on of just this tank. That way you guys can just watch this tank at all times. It's going to be through a security camera so it won't be that good. But uh, yeah, it'll be there. Yeah, I got a feeling that this tank's going to get a real big upgrade because when it gets escaped, or when it gets rescaped, uh, I already have sand, two 50 pound bags of sand, and then I have three bags of pea gravel outside waiting to be washed, because it's like 40 degrees here today. Uh, so that's all going to be mixed together and then put in this tank, and then I think there are plant, native plants in here as well just to give it that real authentic native look. And this is the little pleco. This guy is the little pleco right here. Of course, there's gonna be stuff floating, but is that actually a baby fish? I'm gonna look at it in the recording. 
Uh, either that or mosquito larva, but the convicts will take them out. I think the bass is going to yawn again. Do it if you're going to do it, dude. Do it if you're going to do it, dude. <laughs> Give me ultimate PVB or POV of a bass. And I'm sure this air pump's annoying because it'll be getting taken off here, here soon. So will the wave maker. Uh, the wave maker is actually going to be switched out for the canister. Uh, but yeah, that's the video. Uh, I know that these talking videos never get that many views. Usually it's the ones where I got new fish or I'm setting up a new tank. Uh, or I'm just doing tours, which the tour will be once I get the whole fish room set up because there's going to be an 800 gallon pond right here where this tank is right now. When this tank gets moved over, an 800 gallon pond is going to be put right here. Uh, and it's going to go all the way to my bed and all the way to where this stand sits right now. It's going to be 3 foot wide. I think it's 10 or 12 foot long. And then uh, I think it's 4 foot tall. So yeah, it's going to be a big pond. Uh, I think it was either 800 or 1200 gallons. But that is going to have a full on waterfall. I'm building a slate stone wall for it currently. Uh, and then there will actually be pond lilies and everything in there to make these fish feel as comfortable as possible. Because these natives are going to be the ones going in there, but I'm also going to be getting a school of crappie, uh, probably a couple more catfish. I'm, I'm getting a spotted gar. Uh, there's a couple other things, but then this 180 gallon is going to go to the Oscars, the chocolate cichlid, the ghost knife fish, uh, the pictus, the Raphael catfish. There's just a lot of fish in that tank. And then I'm getting another 55 gallon as well. And every single convict cichlid that I find in here and the two that are in the Oscar tank are going to be getting transferred into that 55 gallon. So there's going to be a lot of fish in that 55 gallon. But convicts can all live together. I mean, and then once the Oscar tank gets lifted up, I'm going to be starting an angelfish tank out of that 75 gallon. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys what strain of angelfish, because they're actually pretty rare, and the one guy that I can order them from is the only guy in the U.S. that I can order them from. So... I probably won't even order them. Uh, I might take a video of me going to the fish swap meet, actually, in the Quad Cities. Uh, it's like an eight-hour drive, but I'm going to make it. Uh, I've only been there one other time. So. Yeah. And I'll probably be handing out business cards as well. But yeah, that's the video. See you guys on the next one. Peace.